in the center of Beijing, the capital city of China. There stand two ancient towers, both hundreds of years old, a bell tower and a drum tower. For more than 600 years, residents in Beijing have used the bell and drums inside to tell time. Although dynasties have changed over the centuries, these two buildings remain the same as before. This is the story of these two landmarks. The Forbidden City was the imperial palace of the Ming and the Qing dynasties. About two kilometers north of this majestic palace, there are two ancient towers, the bell tower in the north and the drum tower in the south. They were all built in 1272 during the reign of the Yuan dynasty. The bell tower is 48 meters high, and on top of the high platform is a square-shaped building. This bell tower was originally a wooden structure, but due to being burned down many times in history, it was rebuilt as a brick building in 1745. Climbing up the steep stairs, we can get into the bell tower. There is a huge bronze bell hanging here, 7 meters high and weighing 63 tons. It was made in 1420. In ancient China, the bell and drum tower was the time reporting center of the city. That's why almost every major city in China has bell and drum towers. From old photos, we can see that the doorways under the bell tower are open and connected, and pedestrians can pass underneath. At the same time, there is a shaft inside the bell tower, which makes the tower itself a resonating chamber. Since there were no tall buildings or vehicle noise in ancient times, Experts speculate the sound of the bell can be heard up to 10 kilometers away. Less than 100 meters south of the bell tower is the drum tower. The drum tower is 47 meters high, roughly equivalent to a 16-story building, and it is wider than the bell tower. The lower part of the drum tower is a platform made of bricks with a wooden structure built on it. The drum tower has also been renovated many times in history. A feature of wooden buildings is that they heavily rely on maintenance. We can see from old photos that the doorways below were also used for people to walk through in the past. The stairs inside the drum tower are also very steep. There are 25 drums placed inside this building. Of course, these are replicas. And we can see a drumming performance here. As an agricultural nation, the ancient Chinese people worked at sunrise and rested at sunset. Therefore, the bell and drums would sound at 7 o'clock every night to remind people that it was nighttime. From then on, to avoid disturbing people's sleep, only the bell rang every two hours until 5 o'clock in the morning when the bell and drums rang together to remind people that dawn was coming. Every day at noon, the bell would also ring together with the drums. This practice continued until 1924. Of course, the bell and the drum towers are time reporting facilities, not timekeeping devices. How did they know how long two hours was? In addition to sundials, the ancient Chinese also used a device similar to an hourglass to tell time. 
The difference was that the Chinese used water instead of sand. We call it a water clock. In modern times, with the invention of clocks and watches, people can know the time anytime and anywhere. So the bell and drum towers were no longer operational. Nowadays, people may not be able to imagine a life without knowing the time. And these two towers themselves are like two monuments, reminding us of history and the way. People once lived, as Confucius said, the passage of time is like flowing water; it never stops, day or night.